The rider in the form right now is Bagnaya, who has won a 10 of the past 20 Grand Prix and is attempting to continue his streak of four straight victories in 2022 to further close the championship lead gap with Fabio Quattararo. Bagnaya won his first pole position since the Dutch Grand Prix back in June after clocking a 1 minute 46.069 seconds at the finish line to break the previous uh, lap record. Enya Bastanini's Gracini Ducati established the early pace in Q2, finishing first with a time of 1 minute 46.580 seconds. He would remain at the top of the pile as the order behind the Italian fluctuated until Bagnaia posted his pole time with just under a minute left in the session. Jack Miller of the sister factory team Ducati lost to Bagnaia for the pole position by 0.090 seconds and Bastianini completed the front row. Alex Espargaro of Aprilia had to make it through Q1 and only had one new soft tyre to utilise in Q2 to salvage a dismal weekend thus far. Throughout his different laps, he made multiple mistakes while breaking, but his final time of 1 minute 46.590 seconds placed him in the fourth and the front of the second row. Following Espargaro through Q1, Johan Zarco advanced the struggling Quartararo to sixth on his Pramac Ducati, the Yamaha rider who had fallen to the bottom of the top 10 and nearly wrecked going through the right-hander of turn 2 late Q2. The incumbent world champion could only manage a final lap time of 1 minute 46.802 seconds, which left him in 6th place among a fleet of Ducatis. On his VR46 Ducati, Marco Bashishi finished 7th ahead of George Martin of Pramac. Alex Rins represented Suzuki in the ninth place after teammate Johan Mir was forced to retire from the Aragon GP due to injury. Takaki Nakagami of LCR Honda was in the twelfth place, followed by Brad Winder and Miguel Oliveira of the factory KTM squad in tenth and eleventh. Mark Marquez will start in position thirteenth for his first MotoGP race since the Italian Grand Prix in May. The factory Honda rider was battling for the top two spots throughout Q1, but when the yellow flags were flown for a collision involving teammate Paul Espargaro, he was demoted to third. Marquez finally lost the chance to attempt to speed up from his 1 minute 46.909 seconds, which meant he missed Q2 by just 0.066 seconds. On the second VR46 Ducati, Luca Marini again failed to advance past Q1, finishing in 14th place ahead of Fabio of Grassini and Maverick Vinales of Aprilia. Vinales was left in 16th place after experiencing his first season opening crash at Turn 2 on his final flying lap. Before Paul Espargaro and Kyle Crutchlow, who is making his return to MotoGP, Alex Marquez will start in the position 17th on his LCR Honda. He finished 20th just over 3 tenths faster than factory Yamaha rider Franco Morbidelli. Tech 3 is Remy Gardner and Raul Fernandez, as well as Darren Binder on the sister runner and bike, completed the 23 rider grid.